Welcome, I'm Tychus. This is my wife Erin. Hey guys. So uh, today we're doing something a little bit different. We're reading an SCP tale. Well, it's not a tale story. We're reading an SCP entry, but it's going to be uh, an SCPJ entry. So it will be one of the, um, the jokes, but I thought Erin would appreciate it. I showed it to her. She likes it. I, uh, in Rising World, my house has a picture uh, of this SCP, so it's, it's kind of cool. So, um, it's SCP-2559J. We'll include a link in the description, and uh, she's going to read it for you. Okay. So, this SCP object class is Keter. Special Containment Procedures. As of this time, SCP-2559J is currently contained at the bottom of Site Blank. But when its outflow finally breaches the top of Site Blank, containment will rapidly become impossible. Slight break. This one is super adorbs. And if I had to go, it would be the way that this SCP does it. <laughs> Description. SCP-2599-J is the result of the interaction between the use of SCP blank and a careless researcher and can be used as a reminder of what can happen when research methods are not kept to. I feel like that sentence just kind of breaks off in the middle of itself. Yeah. <laughs> SCP-2559-J is a rip in time space created by when Dr. Blank sliced through reality utilizing SCP blank. SCP blank allowed the user to cut through to the reality of their choice and create a portal which matter could pass through. At the time of this creation of SCP-2559-J, Dr. Blank was supposed to be investigating a supposed Nazi-verse that existed parallel to our own. When the slice was created, an opened security log showed masses of kittens of various breeds filling up the portal before being ejected with massive force, instantly killing Dr. Blank and her team of assistants. Within moments, the room had filled with kittens, and they began to exert massive pressures on the surrounding doors before breaking through and began to fill Sight Blank. You can see why I, I would enjoy. If I had to go, it would be Death by Kitten. <laughs> Fortunately, Sight Blank was built inside the crater of Sight Blank, which has <laughs> been destroyed a number of years previously during a possible XK class breach, and so the portal is located some 5.6 kilometers, bracket 3.5 miles, bracket, below ground. Since the opening of SCP 2559J, kittens have been spilling out at a fixed rate of roughly. 11.36 liters per second. That is three gallons per second with a massive amount of pressure. How much is three gallons of kittens? Well, that's a flow rate, right? That's um, that's really a flow and pressure rate. We have our own kitten <sighs> making a cameo. <laughs> yep. Almost uh, the terrible things. Okay. Foundation researchers have attempted to exterminate the kittens to reach and close SCP-2559-J, but have found that the mass of kittens, or kitten pile, as it is commonly called, appears to be invulnerable to conventional weapons and can exist without impairment at massive pressures or temperatures. Any individual kitten removed from the pile becomes unremarkable in every way and merges seamlessly with the pile when returned. Due to this, SCP-2559-J has received Keter level of classification and unless a solution can be found soon, it will become uncontainable. Oh, tragedy! <laughs> piles and piles and piles of kittens. Scroll. Oh, sorry. I got it. Occupied with cats. <laughs> Addendum. According to Dr. Wrights, considered by many to be the Foundation's foremost expert on kittens, I feel like I would be an expert on kittens, too. SCP-2559-J is apparently a portal to the Plane of Infinite Kittens. Apparently this dimension is nothing but an infinitely large kitten pile and may be the place from which all kittens come. This would explain why the kittens were ejected from SCP-2559-J with such force as the pressure exerted by the pile in any given location would be astronomical. Attempts to reach the portal have so far failed as the kitten pile exerts a stupefying effect on anyone who enters it, running them rendering them incapable of performing any action other than curling up and going to sleep until they sink to the point where the pressure exerted by the mass of kittens crushes them. Do you think they purr when they're in a giant pile crushing you? Probably. 
Please note any and all attempts to cause mass termination or destruction of the kitten pile or site blank has been met with massive levels of irrational violence on the part of Dr. Wrights and Agent Tam. Caution is advised when attempting to pursue a solution to this problem. I personally don't think a pile of kittens is a problem. Well, when it's going to destroy the world and all life on it. Well, but it's such a cute way to die. And there will be no more life. Except kittens. Except kittens. But no one to enjoy them, so... <laughs> they can enjoy each other. Yeah. They are in an infinite kitten pile. They must like each other's company. Yep. Or that's what they're all trying to get out. <laughs> like a kitten rocket? Yep. <laughs> Just imagine millions of them pouring out, scratching your <laughs> eyes out. No, I, I'm, I'm imagining them like curly bald. And purring with little like, needy Oh, toes. God, we're finally free of this place. <laughs> and be like, hello, person. Let me hold on to you. You are not furry. You are something different for me to dig my toes into. <laughs> Violently. <laughs> no. <laughs> Kittens are lovely. <laughs> They're not really big enough to cause damage. Except with their little razor toes. <laughs> There's a kitten that crawled on my chest and tried to take my, uh, my face off. To be fair, it was trying to rock it off your shoulder to escape. Yeah, that's true. Your face just got in the way a little <laughs> got bit. Got in the way. Well, yep, infinite kitten pile. I um, I guess it could be worse. It could be like the plane of infinite pit bulls. Pit bulls are nice. That is a stereotype. Although um, they are significantly larger than kittens and would probably hurt a lot more if they were rocketing at you. So. Yeah, and they might be a little angry after the you know an, an eternity of being pressed against each other. Well, yeah, and most things are probably not too happy after they've been rocketed. No, that's true. But yeah, I mean it's it's cute. <laughs> I can I can just see it now. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, I uh, <laughs> I can't even imagine. If you put this into the SCP containment breach game, and you just <gasps> open a door, that'd be so cute. I would just deliberately walk in there and die. <laughs> and die, yeah. You, walk, you open the door, they pile out, kill you, or they contain um, SCP-173. That's the uh, statue that breaks your neck. I don't like that one. Yeah, but just think, infinite kittens pl uh, plowing into it would trap it forever. That is true. Also, it can't move if anyone's looking at it, including animals. So it would never move again because there would be infinite kittens looking at it. That's true. See, I kind of imagine this kitten pile, if you could move, to be sort of like a ball pit of kittens. <laughs> and just people like yowling. swimming. Infinite yowling. Through the kittens. <laughs> yep. So, hope you enjoyed. That's SCP-2559J. <laughs> right. Bye, guys. Have a good one.